Well, here we are. The final parenting of vlog. The kind of time I had to end a vlog community because that's kind of the point of the vlog community. I got cap when I when I got to do parenting quick quicker to go show I wanna talk about. I could do one and we can before I believe I even kind of do with anything too, but here we are, it's the end of week three and the vlog in general. Who knows how long this will be? It could be shorter, it could be long. It probably could be other things I talk about besides just the finale. But with that said, here is the you know, series finale at the end of the world, written by Sam Levine and Jeff Poliquin. Okay, so the premise of this is actually pretty simple. So they have all the charts. But one more step before they can do anything, they have to go to free the like, evil world, go to an evil spot, and charge each of the three shards before they can open up the most dangerous world imaginable and get ten parents. And of course, Ripon isn't gonna have any of that, so he basically summoning up all the villains you know they've met, you know stuff like that, and they basically have a big battle, and a lot of other stuff happens. So yeah, it's definitely. It's kind of a similar vein to the Grand Fall regular finale, where there's a lot of emotion, a lot of mobbing things, and of course, big battle. So, don't say, I can't, don't, not ripping off the room completely because a lot of super fans do this kind of reality, so like, even thinking over time, you know, a lot, definitely, it's not all that. So, it's gonna have that, so, yeah, so, I should probably confirm that, yes, the battle itself is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I think with, I think I think about a part of folk in terms of the battles. I mean, the battles one become involved well, all lots of the heroes, lots of the villains they've met. So I'm going to see a lot of characters again. You know, both you know, good guy and bad guy. A lot of them I've never get, which doesn't include Adam West because apparently he gave a court thought for this before. You know, and the, I don't. Did he court any, do anything else before he died, or is this like, is like last parole, or will it be like a family guy episode or something? Given the way the king got things, he's gonna like a little. You know, even though we didn't do a lot. Of course, yeah, uh, probably Captain Cooper, Captain! And then the Professor, Eva, Professor! In relation to Professor, Professor? Like a reference now that people are gonna get. <laughs> um. Yeah, of course, we get all the guest stars. Yeah, we cheer for yeah, if you like. Come get more life than others, but mostly the ones who had a bigger role in the to begin with. Yeah, um, you get to see Madame Pregnant again, who hooked up Larry for good. Um, you get all the cameo and all the fighting, and it is spectacular. I mean, again, you not know, seeing cameos, you know, from again, fans are from celebrities too. That's just making me. Yeah, cool. Speaking of celebrities, we have Mark Hamill as the first part-time hero. I thought I'd be looking up part-time villain against Mark Hamill, but all in all, <laughs> you know, you're not even the him of the squad, in which at one point someone's going to a Joker. Ha uh ha. -huh. I didn't mention that because it didn't hit me until after I watched it. Anyway, um, yeah, he doesn't have a lot to do, but what he does get to do, I like. Um, never some hope. Um, yeah, just want to talk about the battle, about, from the spoiler, I'm, I don't know if I want to spoil it, I might have to do a little spoiler section, maybe, or I could try to say, well, I can, but, um, in, in terms of the, it, I guess one criticism I do have towards the, I'll say right now, it was awesome, overall, the emotion, everything, I can't to be here, um, I got, I got stuff, like, you know, uh, um, <laughs> don't, <laughs> anyway, um, um, the fun parts do go on long. I'm not talking about the battle, but the other thing I feel like they do the path to 40 minutes, like, the emotional part towards the end that I feel like works, but I feel like they pile on too much, and I'm like, okay, get on with it, can you, you know? Um, yeah, it just feel like some part going too long. Um, the ending part, go on a bit, but I feel like it's fine for what we're going for. Um, you know, it worked. Yeah, but the compound has been going a bit long, and it definitely is a thing. It is a family that was relative. They were able to wrap up much of it back we can, but a bit so I feel like they were kind of want to put it, a lot of it, and go on some things we don't get. 
Well, more of a comic kind of thing, a show about her main most opportunity, like from character being a board. But everyone would get a lot to uh both Boo and Kashi get a lot of awkward moments. My favorite is like when they're going into the world to be able to one of them the waterfall thing comes like the Kashi to fight Kashi and she takes him out like eagerly because of she apparently purposely put a weakness on her just in case she had to fight of her of herself. <laughs> That's the main <laughs> Uh, you're great. Oh, and I should probably for one thing, Shipper will be happy with one part, and I feel like it was pulled off pretty well. Not King Who Who, but yeah. But Cork, all of them are pregnant there, Shipper. Hey, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, which means Jack Whipping Clary is Clary's Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, but you know, everyone gets a lot. Come do it again. Boom guys will have a lot to think emotionally, but we do get the king with all that with them doing cool, cool things. Boom get a few derogatory dumb jokes, but oh well. Yeah. But Ben and Larry, Larry kind of forgotten about for a portion, but he come back, so that's fine. So everyone gets quite a bit to do, and they give him time. I think it's not until like the, the ending where I feel like some parts start to come. We have to tie in a few other things. Um, I do like how we see Jeffrey Rock go again. Alright, it's really cool. <laughs> um, that, that everyone appears, I don't know if, maybe everyone appears, but no one, not one of the line. I was probably going to see some calm mom again. <laughs> we did get to see him to the anime world, so like, I guess that's cool. But, there's so much going on, and in a good way. You know, I feel like with Kirkham, you can have that. Because of the stage where I had to have a little too much going on, like a, but in general, I think it will welcome the way they able to get so many jokes, so much action, and a lot of character moments. I get back very a lot of character moments, especially with how, yes, parents are all today back you, and there's no bullshit they do with that, that they expect you with parents. Yeah, I know, but with the, with the show basically ending here, that I have to. I do wonder what would happen, but I don't know, who knows when Captain Mike gets in the way done, if, you know, they were allowed to have a first union. Or who knows, they might have pulled up. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking they might pull Grace Ball and have gave the parents like half of the union, then they'll fall out to that. And then we won't pull Grace Ball. But, you know, maybe they would still have to have the first union kind of deal with all that and duel. That would been really cool. And I will say, they're actually even small cliffhanger. Go, they I guess they did that, you know, just in case. You know. It's more of a thing where you know it is, but we'll never know what referring to. Mm -hmm. And, um, and there's no interesting thing that happens towards the end, which is that big bush moment I feel like will go a little too long. That, Kirby and Kirk can joke, and, um, you know, I feel like we'll go too long. It's a great moment, definitely, especially for the character, especially given that. And I feel like in terms of the way things are set up, I feel like it actually works really, really well. Yeah. You know, no, go. Usually, I'd be mixed on the kind of thing, but it worked really well in context. I, I think we're gonna have to. I kind of have to. You know, really. So, but, but yeah, it definitely a really nice thing when it happens. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I'm gonna do a for Katrina because it's one of the things I definitely want people to. Oh, but um, this finale, I feel like, again, it's a finale, good thing they were able to link it something. It wasn't very fitting, you know. Yeah, because they didn't kind of the crazy much time to prepare for it, it's not quite, you know, satisfying. Well, but we'll kind of follow them and they spent way more time with them also technically on the air. Um, you know, so, Bucky got to be a lot more satisfying. Kind of Although, we do end up slightly similar to it, particularly if one of them did not think which one. Um, that found really mostly satisfying, kind of especially with what happened. Can we get. You know, I feel like they do kind of stretch things to get to, but I feel like it works really, really well, you know, it's great, you know. I mean, I feel like I'm well too kind of fine. I got, you know, yeah, it's not like your original, like, arc or whatever, I got a lot of, like, that's like a ton of arc, but just a lot of, the, you know, things, you know. But I actually got real too, and they got twist. <laughs> that one, I love that twist, Good go like, what? <laughs> Even the characters are trying to like, what, what does that mean? 
Like, I think it's funny, too. It's a cool twist, but also a funny twist. Uh, the twists are all dead the whole time. That's not a weird joke. Uh, <laughs> but, man, I don't know what else to look at. This is freaking crazy. Look at, look at Battle Wild Group Fat Thing. About what you would expect for a 40 minute finale to a show like this. You got a lot of kind of action, a lot of character moments, and a lot of emotion. It's it crazy. You go, you go. Again, what's going most of wrong, I feel like you're going to have him when you have a 40 minute episode and we're trying to wrap up much of what we're doing here. Because we just need Lalo to create a proper finale. So we can not only put local something had to be the squinch of it, whatever they say, and what I buy out, they could have put something in front of and go or whatever. You know? You know, but I feel like at least they were able to make World of Dream a proper finale instead of just, you know, I've when I'm watching show where like okay clearly you know, that kind of like worked on the to like rush it uh but I think we'll show do it way worse or or do it in a way I'm like yeah you can it's gonna show you give you or tell you had the time limit on this um but um yeah it's not their fault Disney fault if you want to sort of kind of game it but I tell you it should not be for me it definitely really could have possibly been oh it's so good you know we could have had Bad in certain things, so that that was part of going along. It did, but yeah, and yeah, they're some pretty emotional parts, and it's really satisfying in the end. Yeah, I, it's the thing. I think Regis Jones and I just want to keep close for the party. You didn't try this one, because you know, because you know, because obviously Tatooine is quite strong, and so, you know, and um, and it's definitely clear the passion they had when it comes to the show, and it really shows here, and especially when you can't lose talking to her, it's like. And definitely nice little anecdote to all the stuff going on in the world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you speak on political stuff about what, what people do, so. Maybe that. Speak that next, get next time if I'm going to become Trump. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. Nah, that's a permanent pregnant. You just have a name. Um, but I'm pregnant, I guess. But yeah. So, yeah, no for attention. I feel like, yeah, in terms of, like, if one thing is better off than you for yourself, for one thing I could possibly mention, but I feel like it's better off than you for yourself, you know? But yeah, so, as a whole, they put it aside, it's awesome. You know, we got, like I said, we get the big epic battle that tons of fun. And it got tons of continuity, it got a lot of rewards for sticking with the thirty years of only two seasons. Again, two two seasons one or back won't be able to do it better, but again, back a different show and they were they ever kept starting too, they were building towards the ending somewhat. So it's only one or two bits that won't quietly rush. You know, just considered but um but they still rain. It's so emotionally satisfying, you know, it's been going on a bit. It's a thing. I guess when people can get an ending, it definitely burnt to the turn of the king, but, you know, the same way of that one was so emotionally satisfying. And it hits you if they don't make you think in the end constantly. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I, when I have to, like, uh, do something, I don't want to have to leave this camera rolling. So, anyway, so, but anyway, yeah, pretty awesome finale. And, but it fell off quickly. I feel like. Be only a few thick things that could possibly done. And I feel like it's very much forgiven. Quite. You know, it's kind of a typical way of pets kind of thing, but the weekend it is so much of a it works really, really well. So. Mm hmm. And so there, Pengiro, we get to in the Pengiro vlog and Pengiro in general. I know what I'm going to do in terms of vlog, I might. Oh. Man, it could be predictable because you don't know what's going to be probably going to be this, so... But we'll go replica, I'd like to talk about in there, but... Well, we're going to get replica, that's fine, but... It's not... Not almost simple enough to where you could... Get pretty quickly, but... Especially if it's really good. A lot of really good ones are really good in a similar way, but... That's not a bad thing. No, we're just kind of do a different thing, you know? Yeah. But, okay, I would like to do some kind of that kind of fun. Maybe I'll put it, look on y'all, maybe on its own. We'll see how it goes and what I got to do with it. Um, so, 
Anyway, that's for Pen Hero King 2 in general. I'll talk about Robbing Up on King 1. I was kind of expecting more of a one reality situation, but not every show can be like that. I think about the King 1. I feel like some way they improved some things. I'm kind of uh, jittering in the trauma I mentioned before I definitely fixed. The show going to do probably great. I will definitely. Some kind of things I wanted them to explore, but they still didn't. Like, boom, parent, parent. We kind of got the one episode point the fact that. Kind of part time hero one, but not much explanation beyond that. You know, it took me in general. I feel like he yeah, had a few more annoying moments than even first again. All things considered, there were a lot, but there were still a few. And of course, for that problem I kept bringing up a lot of time. We'll come first again. From what I remember, maybe that more interesting. Very interesting of Pat Boone and Gachi being pushed to the side, particularly Gachi, but. At the same time, they had a going that are like pretty big problems of Kobayashi or Kankativi training, which do focus pretty heavily on them, and they got a lot more in here than they get an actual ending. So, you know, I'm kind of betting it's really better than the first thing in it being like great, but being pretty good. You know, it's a good thing and it can be fucking well. Again, I still have a lot of good bad, really light. You know, Skitcom, Epica, would be, you know, Kobayashi, you know. The body clop, you know, you know, it's a lot of fun, fun stuff. Um, look at four card I made, yeah, well, mostly we were solid ones, you know, and it ended on a pretty high note. So, the part of the season, I feel like it's better with the star season, which is still pretty good, just because we're looking for consistent. But not good in some like Wanda Yarn or Gravity Falls in the second season in terms of these kind of show. But, you know, still pretty solid. And Pinkyo in general, yeah. Pretty solid. Again, not every, like I can my blog post, not every show needs to be like a main Gravity Falls thing, you know. Some show can be pretty good. As long as they have effort put into them, that's all needed. That show definitely had the fair share of effort. It was so creative, it had likable, memorable character. Yeah, it was pretty damn funny. I actually wasn't frank, it looked very funny. And it gave a call story. You even gave to pink out of and it gave it a do their arc well by how it be a world to a simple one with a few mini things going on. But I don't come show that my friend felt a little too thin. Um, you know, I feel like it was kind of the right way to... I think I wanted to show the right way to do that kind of thing. Although, you can get so heavy in your arc, but some show might get so heavy that some people get turned off. You know? You know? You know? They can want to prove a kind of show can have a story arc and have it still work and not betray a group or whatever. You know, and um, yeah, go Pen Hero, Part Time Hero, the Turk of the Day, Think of is probably both well rounded. The Turk of the Original, the Comic Star really gave me the channel before they made the Nancy Change, so I only barely counted. Uh, but the Turk of the and yet I am kind of one of the Nancy Original. Again, that. Again, that is only for me and so will he. I think it has potential. But in terms of um, the ones that are now completed, yeah, I like to definitely be already counting out, which I like. But this is better, especially in terms of the story. Next time, we probably had less problems, but for one that did have that really bad code, Pangaro had no duds. Some weaker one, like that purple girl, flash guy, tail to wizard, and fast in the floor, but some weaker ones, but. That is A, I could see what they're going for. Um, particularly in the case of that purple guy, thinking back. But, no, they're just going back good. They're kind of like, wander beyond the weaker ones. They're just weaker. They're not bad. They're okay. Or they have problems, but they have a good thing too. Um, you know. But, um, well, yeah, overall, pretty consistently entertaining show. I have some great comments. May not that many, like, amazing examples, but a lot of them I really like. Although my favorite is still probably so okay and still more rounded, but you know, come up from pretty close, it's still, you know. And he won, he's got a couple of awesome go. I feel like it took up Steve now, I think we got the way you should do it. You know, but yeah, the problem here, but nothing too crazy. So, yeah, I feel like I can't really to say about Pangaro, but I mean, you know, I think I would say more, but again, it's going to be going as long as you can't say. Especially given nature of the cup of code, so. But yeah, there you go. Feel for real to have a show where primarily continue one to two took so long, and I keep hearing conflicting reports whether it's Disney fault or whether they are kind of go back schedule on a couple like that. 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I'm sure if you do a heck me a roll tibby, we'll be like, I'll have a year. Then yeah, it will be going to be open at the end of the world. <laughs> I can see why they call it that. Um, but yeah, go very go. I picked it a whole VR community coming in for three weeks, so yeah, we'll have to get a pretty good show off the finale called the Games. Definitely a show to watch. Go, so, yeah. Okay, now I've gone to the D got another nail and stuff. <laughs> um, but you have my own star to watch and um I don't know what else. Um they have stuff on the horizon that sounds pretty cool. Um and I have no idea if I'm ability to delay back in or not. They first thing in it will bond out. So I'll hopefully watch a few of them at some point, but we'll see. Um and I forgot to watch that. We'll get from Bunch of Lane, which I will be watching. Um so, yeah. Anyway, for our vlog, next week, MLP vlog comes back with the perfect pair, I believe. And, I uh, Milo is supposed to come back in September, well, it will basically bomb out the rest of the app, because it'll be on one. You two are confirmed. Go. There you go. So, that's probably going to take a bit. You two, well, uh, hopefully not a year and nine months, but we shall see. Um, yeah. Um, next from Pressure Beyond, I'm going to get 12 with DuckTale, will reboot. Um, go, so yeah, August 5th, we have Pressure Beyond, and they'll come back. Um, go, so yeah, and I do have an idea for other vlogs that I'd like to do, but I'm going to probably, there's some shows that are going to wait to come out for like, you know, and we'll see. I have ideas for some shows. Um, I don't know if any you know, new show will come back, put me up to what to do vlog on. With my own and that I'm going to, so. Go, I guess we'll see, but um, yeah, this thing coming in, we're going to do, it's kind of like, I don't know, but kind of got the idea to expand my vlog with all my first ideas. Go, so, yeah, there are Pen Gero, Part Time Hero, go, so, yeah, go so thank you to all people who worked on the show and made it join Bullet Log, especially the finale, and I'm glad to do vlog on it and cook my opinion. And if you can't get running about, we can continue to upload it in a reputable guy, probably. It, Bobo, I tell you, it's kind of equal footing, but, you know, but, oh well. And in terms of that, uh, again, could be this, but I'd have to think about it. Make some more standard stronger in terms of the story, whatever. But I shall see you guys for my next endeavor. Goodbye.